first of all, I did a lot of work between Vampire Diaries and Vampire Academy, just in like learning, learning about representation and learning how to do it right and, and how not to do it. You know, I could argue better late than never, but certainly later than it needed to be. And so for me, everything I do now, Vampire Academy specifically, is all about like representation, inclusion, lifting up stories, centering stories around other people. And, and so we really wanted to make sure that we had a cast for this particular show that one was fully inclusive, two was not token, three, you know, um, that like wasn't colorblind. Colorblind is a little harder because it's not really a show about race so much as it's a show about class. But still, we didn't want to just like be like, oh, and this character is this and that character is that. So that was really a goal, but it was hard. We had a huge debate in the writer's room about whether Rose could be black because Rose's character is a guardian and guardians are basically, you know, a position of indentured servitude. And we thought if we make this character black, are we just accidentally servicing a message that, that is, is not a positive message? And the black writers in the room debated with each other and some of them felt like, no, I don't think Rose should be black. And some of them have said Rose absolutely should be black because how great to have a lead role and a fierce, badass, amazing, romantic lead and kicking ass and doing all those things. Like uh, one of our writers was pregnant at the time and she said, I want my daughter to be able to turn on the TV and see her on screen. And so then once we decided Rose was going, uh, that CC was going to be Rose, then we looked at the other Dom Pierre guardians and we thought, well, we need to actually cast a lot of them as white actors to show that it's not just the, the actors of color that are in this guardian role. Uh, and we need to make sure that the royals, the fancy royals, the queen and Victor and, and all that, we need to make sure that we have a beautiful amount of people of color in these roles. And, and so there a lot of conversation went into it, a lot of careful, con you know, careful conversation. Uh, I was talking to Jay August, who plays Victor Dashkov, and I said, we are going to cast your daughters. Are you comfortable if your daughters are, if one of your daughters is white? And he said, I'm absolutely comfortable with that, but could I make a request? I would really like my husband to be black. And I said, absolutely, you know, tell me more. And he said, typically in television, when you see gay relationships with a black male, he has a white husband. And I would really like to see two black men in a loving gay marriage. And so I was really grateful for that perspective. And, and that's what we did. And we ended up with Cornelius, his husband, who's just the greatest, most wonderful actor.